Welcome to House Talk, with videos that'll provide maintenance tips unique to Trilogy at Vistancia Homes, with your host, Doug Bowman. Hey, it's Doug with another House Talk video. I had a resident ask me, hey, what's with the ceiling vent in my bedroom that doesn't blow any air? Do you think it may have gotten disconnected and is blowing air into my attic? Turns out these are called crossover ducts, or jumper ducts. Most high-efficiency homes have them. You'll most likely find these crossover ducts in your smaller bedrooms, study, and office. And usually they'll be on both sides of the door. They allow your air conditioning, or heating air, to keep flowing when you close the room's door. If you don't have these, the airflow would just stop and the fan would start pressurizing the room, which would force air under the door, around the windows, or even out through your electrical outlets. To visually see how this works, watch this simple test I'm doing in my guest bedroom. First I'll manually start the fan and wait a minute or so for the air flow to get established. Then I'll shut the bedroom door. Obviously the air can't flow through the door, so it reroutes itself and starts flowing up through the crossover duct. To confirm the flow, you can see I put a tissue on the crossover register. Now watch what happens when I open the door. Because the door opening is so much larger than the register, the doorway becomes the path of least resistance. The air stops flowing through the duct and the tissue just falls away. Now I don't expect you to perform this test to determine which ceiling register is attached to your crossover duct and which one isn't. You can usually confirm this by just taking a good look at them. Supply registers have louvers or controls on them and usually are the farthest from the door, while the crossover registers have no louvers and are usually the closest to the door. By the way, do you remember back in the old school days, the windows above the classroom doors? Well, today's design is much more efficient and the flexible insulated duct deadens the sound from room to room. No more eavesdropping. The second part of the question was, do you think my duct may have gotten disconnected and is blowing air into my attic? While it is possible that a duct can come loose anywhere, the crossover ducts are one of the least likely places because of the infrequent flow and the low force of air flowing through them. If you're going to have a leak, the most likely place is right off the fan's discharge plenum, right at the air conditioner, where the pressure is the greatest. Luckily, this can be easily inspected during your annual air conditioning inspection. Well, thanks again for the great questions, and don't forget to go back and turn off your fan. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the like button.